taking them for walks and all that stuff um they also doing otherwise climbing of trees which is like one of the major activities of the day a- apart from banyan trees which are full of snakes because they are just so big but apart from that they are allowed to climb many trees uh, or they choose to climb many trees uh, also we started talking a lot about recycling reusing how we try and manage waste at the farm because we have no uh, count like you know municipality services for all this we have to handle our own garbage and all that so we talk a lot about these things and uh, they are uh, being made to consciously think about their own waste as as members of the house okay uh, any questions on that part or i'll move on to books okay so in books it was always like uh, uh, yeah Yeah, Chitra, yeah. I have one question. How do you manage the waste in the farm where you don't have municipality collecting that? I just want to yeah. know. Maybe be reducing the use of it, or how do you do that? So everything organic goes into composting. We have a huge compost pit. Everything goes in there. All paper we collect, and we have a tied up with the local kabadi wala who has specified what are the things he wants, what are the things he'll take. So cartons, packaging material, all that stuff he takes, and uh, other stuff we just have to burn. There's no option. So we have dug a pit at the back, which is like least exposure to the fumes. We burn it and we cover the pit. Yeah. Achitra, where do you stay? Uh, we stay in a place called Muxar. It's in Punjab, uh, in North India, and uh, it's kind of the nearest town is a town called Bhatinda, and it's a semi-urban, so semi-urban place. So the town is urban, but we stay about ten kilometers away from the town. Okay, so it's like just farm area. We are surrounded by fields, agricultural fields. so this is like the major uh, rice and wheat belt growing belt of uh, the the region uh, okay from golden temple from golden temple to and half hours <laughs> drive <laughs> okay so uh, second then books okay of course i, I mean i am a more and then nothing boss about it i am a voracious reader i always have been and so that was a habit which was naturally because my house is just full of books um, so the children picked up reading very naturally initial years i used to read aloud chapter books i used to read aloud and picture books they used to read themselves now i have seen a marked transition now they are very particular about choosing their own books they spend a good amount of time choosing books each of them has a bedside table with their own stack like me they read about 6 or 7 books at one time and uh, they 